Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to tie these cute baby blankets. I've made a couple of them and if you saw my last um, cleaning video, I showed you how to set it up on the quilt frame and today I'm going to show you a fast easy way to tie this before you had to tie them in double knots but now They've come up with new ways of doing stuff. So I'm gonna show you the fast way to do this and then I'm gonna show you how to sew the binding. So anyway, let's go over to the quilt and get started. Okay, so to start, you're gonna need a yarn needle and some yarn. You're just gonna find some yarn that matches the quilt that you're making. And then the yarn needles are just, a they're quite a bit bigger than like a regular needle. But you're just gonna thread your yarn onto your needle And then you are just going to pull the thread through until the ends are matching. So it kind of just doubles the thread. Okay, and then after you have that threaded, you're going to want to figure out about how far away you want to put your ties. You can measure it out or you could use a pattern, put it in, like on this one, I could put it in like every pink one or something. But I decided to use this little square that I had that's three inches. And so I just measured it out and marked every three inches. And that's what I decided to do. You could do three inches. You could do four inches. I don't recommend going bigger than that. And just so you know, you do not have to put this on a frame. You can tie this on your lap. It does not have to be on a quilt frame. Okay, to start, you're going to go to the side of the quilt that is your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, you want to go to the right side of the quilt. If you're left-handed, you want to go to the left side of the quilt. Then with your non-dominant hand, I am right-handed. So I am using my right hand to thread the needle. With my left hand, I am putting it underneath the quilt so that I can feel that the needle goes all the way through all of the layers and then comes back up. So after you go down and back up, you're just gonna go back down and back up. Let me show you in slow motion. Okay, so I put the needle down and now I'm coming back up and I'm pulling it through. And with my left hand, I'm feeling underneath it to make sure that I can feel the yarn going under the back. Then I'm going back to where I started to go down and then pushing the needle back up. And you want to get it as close as you can to the original first stitch. And you're just pulling it tight. Then you're going to go to the next mark, put the needle down, and bring it back up. You want to try and keep the gap as small as you can. Pull it all the way through. Then go back down to from where you started and back up. This is a faster method that I told you. Before you had to tie knots and make sure that you double knotted it and did a square knot and sometimes it will come undone and it was just a pain. This way it will never come undone. And that's just what you do all the way across. Just go down and back up and down and back up. And then when you're finished with that row, you can try and go back the other way, but I find it difficult because I'm not left-handed, so it's hard to thread it to go back the other way. So I usually just cut it off right here at the end, and then I cut between each thing and start at the other end and go back again. So now I'm just making sure that I cut in the center between each knot so that the tassels are the same length on each side. And I'm done with that row. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the binding. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the back and the front are cut the exact same length. As you can see, the front is a little bit bigger on this one, so I'm gonna to wanna to trim that off and make sure that it's even. So I'm going to show you how to do it on this side. 
I'm just folding over about a quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna fold over about an inch and I'm gonna pin it and then you're gonna wanna sew straight down that line. So you're gonna wanna sew as close to the edge as you can but make sure you catch the binding and you want to make sure that your binding is even. You don't want to have like one side be like an inch and the other side be an inch and a half. So you want to make sure it's even. Take your time, fold it over, and pin it. And then sew it. I was going to show you how to sew it, but the outlets in my craft room are not working right now. And my husband can't come home to fix it, so I can't show you. But you get the gist. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, follow me on Instagram too because I do fun DIYs on my Instagram stories and different stuff like that. Anyway, I'll quit rambling now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.